So this is a playlist talking about how to use a, a Google form to add to, to a, a contact to Salesforce using Zapier. And what we've done now is in the prior, prior video, we talked about how to build out the trigger and uh, using, uh, using a spreadsheet, a Google Sheet. And now we're going to talk about setting up the action. The first step is to look at uh, setting up Salesforce. So we're going to click on Salesforce. And then we're going to say, what action do we want to take? We want to uh, create a new contact. And then what we want to do is to uh, connect. If you haven't connected, you need to use this. Otherwise, what you can do is you can test it and make sure that your connection is good. And then we're going to save and continue uh, to get to our template. Uh, and over here again, this, this panel is just telling us where we are in the process, and this is helping us uh, kind of work through it. So the first step is to enter an, a name, um, and just recall that this was our template, first, last name, email, and phone. And so what we've got is uh, for last name, we're going to come out here, we're going to click here, and we're going to select our last name. And what that does is it brings up last name here, shows the, the, the information. If we toggle this preview off, that just shows us what the field name is. Uh, toggling it on shows us actual data. It's great to be green uh, because uh, it, it does show you kind of where you've added information as you look at this. Um, accounts an interesting one because this is referencing another object in Salesforce. So uh, if you take a look at what a search step looks like, uh, in future, we can talk about complexity. Uh, there's lots that you can do with Zaps, but um, this, this is how that looks. Uh, but if we go back to our form, um, and what we're doing here is, is this is the full form. What I've gone in ahead and done is to add in additional fields. And uh, the best way to do this was to search. Um, just to do a Control F and, and, and find the fields that you needed to. So. Uh, what I've got is email, and again, because it's green, I can see I've got first name tag, then I've got uh, home phone is what I used for phone. So we go to the bottom, and we drag, and we say, okay, uh, what we're going to do is to continue here, which takes us to uh, 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 this now. So now we're at the testing stage, and what we're able to see is that we can, uh, we can run it. There's two different pieces to this, which is interesting. Uh, and again, I think the prior... The prior screen was probably even more helpful because we can make it green. This is telling us, this is going to show us the matches of kind of what we've done up top. Um, and so if we drag these, we can see, uh, again, home phone, we can see the fields that we've kind of put into this. Uh, so we should see first name as well. Um, I guess I need to refresh. Anyway, um, because I know it's there. And then uh, this one we've got, uh, we can also you know, send a test to Salesforce and say, say, hey, what have we got going on? Last name required. I think that we've got some funkiness going on here. So if we actually go back to a prior step and I say continue from here, um, this gets the sequencing thing. So we've got a, a, a test contact was sent. Um, here's what we've got as a test contact. Uh, and so we're going to say finish here. And what that's going to do is to say, are we ready to turn on the zap now? So what, kind of once we've done that initial testing, we can turn it on and test it. And that'll be the next step. Uh, watch for that video on the next stream.